Good morning to all traders and welcome to another market in waves. It is the last day of September today, the 30th. It is a Thursday. And as you well know, and as we expect, markets continue their, well, most of them descend, I would say, because of, there is some sort of, um, somewhat of a strength on the US dollar. Um, today is the lucky day. I'm going to analyze everything you've already asked uh, for so far. So I'm going to look at the, uh, obviously, euro dollar is something standard and the oil. Uh, I'm going to look at Aussie as well, Tesla and Palladium. So I'm going to start um, a little bit with the zoomed out version, and then we can go back in, depending, of course, on what we're looking because for euro dollar, we do know that pretty much we expect another leg down. Um, we've been expecting another leg down, okay? Um, however, I was expecting to see an ending diagonal. Now, there is here a scenario in play, okay, that we might have that as wave one and two. That might become the three. We might get four and then five. Don't forget that we're still expecting that to move lower as part of a flat. Now, when we're looking at a flat, Okay, just to be precise. I think I might be, oh, that's a bit of, uh, okay. Uh, zero, I think we have to go that way. Yeah, so, um, as you see, this is this is a flat, okay? And it looks like it is a regular flat because we've done the 90%, right, on the upside, on the correction, pretty much. And then that's a wave C, like an ABC. Um, otherwise, we can see this also as a W, X, and Y. Now, regular flats, they're not really supposed to go beyond the 105, guys, okay? This is the reality. But obviously, they uh, have been uh, they have been seen. Okay, we've seen the regular diagonals have a wave C up to one six one eight, but it's not just the preferable count. Either way, um, there is more downside for me. Okay, coming. Uh, so let's see how that is going to, to play out. Where exactly are we going to go? The one fourteen ninety six is not exactly anything. It's just a strong support. The level that we're going to get invalidated to the upside will be 111.50. So we still have a lot of room to move, okay? And don't forget, wave one or A is done up here, up here, okay? So if this is an ABC, ABC, one, two, three, four, five, it's a flat. Otherwise, we can just remove this, yeah? Go for W, X, and Y, okay? Something that might be a bit more um, fitting the current uh, structure as well, because We've been really, in, you know, the reality is this. We've been struggling to call this one, two, three, four, and five, haven't we? So what if we just actually make that change right now? Okay, look at this, how easy, how, or how easy, let's say easier, it becomes an ABC. Okay, it's actually easier on the on the eye and on the structure. What is easy on the eye? It means that that's the simple and most logical uh, pattern, right? So which means we've got one, two, uh, like three, four, and five in here internally, okay, in the minute degree, and that is our B, and then, uh, well, yeah, one, two, one, two, that is here, one, two, three, four, five, okay, that looks like it's okay, yeah, so since we are not gonna use that as a sort of, uh, flat any longer yeah we missed the 90 as well but in forex guys wave b of a flat does not need to go to um to 90 percent okay it needs to do somewhere any, anywhere above 79 percent now with that done either way we could use this uh, method to work out a level look the 100 fibo is now broken so the next level up would be the one two three six which is around 114.73, which is very close to the 50 FIBO and also the previous 
uh, resistance in wave X that we saw earlier. So this is a very big cluster and quite an attractive level, if you ask me. So um, one, two, multi-structural three, four and five, very likely. Okay. Now let's switch quickly on Aussie against the dollar. Uh, last time I looked at Aussie against the dollar, I was expecting this to be an A, B, and a C. And we're looking for upside here. We saw uh, this move and we're expecting another wave up. Obviously, with the, uh, with the other wave up not coming out, it means that there is no five wave structure here to consider a reversal and this as an A, B, C. Uh, and without crossing even, you know, above the wave one over here, it means that very likely to continue lower because that is now a five wave move, right? Now, with that said, 38.2 at 70.50, the previous wave four as well over there. So that makes a very good level, this area for wave A to end, okay? Then we should receive B and then we should receive C for wave B. And this is A, B and C all the way up or might be one, two, three, four, five, either case. So um, with that done, I want to also mention, and just because this correction and this correction do not, in terms of time, look so, um, they don't fit much. What we could see, guys, just to be a bit cautious on that, we could see an ABC, an ABC, one, two, three, four, five over here, and then have wave four completing, okay? And then continue lower down. Just so you know, we might not go straight down to five, we might still be in a corrective, uh, sequence over here okay that's what i see uh and on the um uh, on the aussie now when we get this leg in and let's just assume that it's going to be at 70 50 yeah we should be able to well usually i would say anywhere between 50 and 79 is going to be where wave b is expected to end okay so um let me delete this one as well so you know you can use the same approach to work out a level uh, once wave five is in, okay? Oil, a horrible mistake yesterday, guys. <laughs> and thanks to some of you who's noticed. Uh, sometimes we look, but we don't watch. We don't see, yeah? So uh, I was looking at this as a leading diagonal, which is fine, it looks very diagonalish, but guys, the wave three was the shortest. So there is two scenarios here now in play, okay? One is this, this is ABC, 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 and ABC. That's gonna be like uh, a leading diagonal, but we really have to have a very deep uh, correction here below the 7060. So I'm not really keen of this particular scenario. So what we are looking, and I'm looking instead, is that for a wave two to be a flat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, or if we start seeing this correcting in a more corrective sort of move, not co well, collective because it's part of correction, then we're going to change this to a W, X, and Y as well. Okay, this is why W, X, and Ys are there. When there is no flat, we change that to W, X, and Y. Now, with that said, guys, I don't think we're done here with the upside because we've got one and two, we've got three and four. And we might stay here for a bit and then get the fifth up all the way to maybe 77, 70 or so, okay? And then start moving lower. Uh, but um, that is as long as we remain above 73.15. If we break 73.15, then it's very possible that we're going to do some anti-diagonal in wave C, okay? And if we move even lower, okay, and get past this level, it's very possible that this is going to be our ending diagonal, all of this, okay? Which means we're looking at a different scenario here because a B cannot be an ending diagonal, obviously. What it could be is it could be a triangle, right? Some people call triangles diagonals, but in alien waves, we don't do that. So these are the actual scenarios I currently see. We're, I know we're talking about a, um, you know, a, a W, X, Y, X, and Z, but I was looking at X here, if you remember. I mean, that is a bit of, uh, of an extension to consider an X wave of a, of a triple zigzag, okay? So this change makes sense. 
Um, and let's see how we're going to get another leg up and then move lower down and how we're going to move down in ABC minor or one, two, three, four, five, because only then guys will be able to say whether this is ABC or WX and Y. Sometimes uh, we need to see the complete pattern to understand what's happening. And most of the time we need to see like 75, 80% of that uh, having been completed to understand what potential scenarios we can have. Um, right now, Tesla quickly. Um, last time we were looking at an A, B, and C because I was looking at these as a flat, right? But then we looked at one, two, three, four, and five as an ending diagonal. But with this break to the upside now, that cannot be an ending diagonal any longer. Okay, it just doesn't. It just doesn't fit. You know, that would be one. That would be two. That would be three. That would be four and five, it means that there is no interaction between one and four, you understand? So that cannot be an impulse and it cannot be a diagonal. So what is it? When there is trouble, bring on the Wx and Ys, okay? And especially moves like this that don't make much sense, they are usually a wave B or X. So with that said, A, ABC, ABC, Wx and Y in Y, let's see 78.60, what is it going to do? Because for now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, to me it looks like that's an ending diagonal in Y, okay? So if we don't start moving lower now for wave C of 4, because we are in a corrective mode, right? Then, uh, well, we could literally go all the way up to 90% and then start falling. That means that this is an ABC, that's going to be an ABC with a very weird looking C, which I don't really trust. And then we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, or it's going to be the W, X and Y alternative uh, case that always comes in when things don't make sense. Okay. Now there is something else I want to mention guys, that if we get to around 80% over here and then we'll start moving lower down, don't forget that Well, we could see something like this taking place. ABC, 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 ABC. And then, whoo, pop, triangle. Still far to, to, to understand whether this is the case or not. But anyway, a bit of a medium term uh, guidance. We are in wave four, okay? something maybe the way for finished here and this is going to continue up but i can guarantee you that does not look, look corrective i don't guarantee that it won't move up but it does not look corrective okay and that means that probabilities of a higher move are not high and then we're going to get the fifth wave in guys so the fourth where we can go well a double bottom would be double four down here around the 400 okay so let's pay close attention to the next few days and see where we potentially could see a move to the downside uh, taking place. Draw your channel over here, see for potential uh, breaks on the downside. And last, palladium, which we haven't actually done ever. So I'm going to go out of the daily to give you a bit of a perspective. Okay. Um, maybe even further out. So I'm looking at this it's impulsive, okay? So we've got one and two. We've got a leading diagonal internally in wave three. That's why it was so extended. And then we've got one, two, three, four, and five for cycle three. We ended um, the uh, primary wave move here. And then I was looking at, at a potential end over here of the three cycle as well, super cycle, and a, a B, C. This is what I was looking for. But why um, I've changed this to a actual flat pattern over here is because this move internally over here, yeah, it's not a five wave move, okay? If it would be a five wave move, I would more than, I'm more than happy to call it a five, yeah? Because it means that one, two, three, four, five would end this impulse, but as a uh, complex sort of pattern over here, it can only be a wave B of a flat, irregular flat, I would say. Okay, so after having drawn both the base channel and the acceleration channel for the super cycle and cycle degree, um, this is what I'm looking now. I'm looking for 
since we did the 105, this is in our regular flood. I'm looking for one, two. Internally, we've got a three, a four, and very likely a five, okay? That can literally take us back to the 105.70, 105.70. Uh, we could go down to 105.02 for a running flat, but I think I would prefer to see running flat ending at 15.71 rather than anywhere below. Anything below 17.02, excuse me, 15.02, and just to be more precise, anything below 14.33 is going to be assumed as an expanding flat variation rather than running flat variation, okay? Now look at these channels, yeah? They are actually giving us some very good levels to take into account. One is around the 1755 and the other one is around the 1570, which is also where our previous wave A is. That's of the flat, right? Um, so with that being done over here, the corrective end, you know, we should be looking for prices to go for all-time highs, okay? Uh, we prefer, of course, to stay outside the base channel. If we don't and we enter the base channel, then things are going to change and we might be even heading down to 1,000, okay? Um, so the other um, scenario we, we can look, obviously, is that, you know, this is an A, B, and a C which means that's one and two, that's three, we're gonna get four and five. And once we get up here, we're going to dump, okay? Uh, but that is obviously in the longer term. In the shorter term, let me just go down on the daily. What could be another scenario is that this is first wave, second wave, we're gonna get third, fourth, and fifth of a running triangle, okay? Uh, it is expected. So we are going to know, though, when this is not any longer the case, once we break below or we get close to 1502, okay? Um, the reason I didn't call this a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to end up here in the fifth wave, guys, and I see an ABC is because of this wave. From outside, it doesn't look like there is a wave in here, but it actually is. And that structure over here has to make that an ABC, okay? Uh, because, okay, we've got this move above the wave C, otherwise, above wave A, otherwise, you know, we wouldn't be able to call this a correction or something. We would have to stop around here with a truncation or something, so it doesn't really make much sense. This is the only structure that makes sense to me, okay? And it actually makes very good sense in terms of corrections because we've got one, two, three, we've got a triangle in X, one, two, three. If you try to call this something different, I mean, what would it be, like an ending diagonal? Look at this. It looks like wave three is already done. My wave five is overextended. It cannot be an ending diagonal. Can it be a five wave impulse? No, it cannot be a five wave impulse. What are you gonna do? One, two, three, four, and five. I mean, it's just very, very, very ugly. You've got one and four not penetrating uh, one another over here, but <laughs> do you really see this as an impulse? No, it's impossible to be an impulse. So that's why I'm looking where I'm looking. And if we go even a bit lower down on the four hours, we should be able to notice that there is some sort of multi-structure move to the upside or to the downside. I've got, uh, well, this, yeah, one, two, three, four, and five, leading diagonal, wave two, then one, two, one, two, three, four, and five, minor one and two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four. This four could be already finished because they look quite similar. Uh, we're expecting the, the third, and then the fourth, maybe we're gonna get a triangle or something, but I don't expect much of a dip, perhaps up to the 2K or something, um, as we've done the previous four there, and then continue lower down, perhaps to around the 16K, and from there, from there, or around there, start shooting higher, okay? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, in case you did, thumbs up, like the, the, the video, and if you have any questions, don't forget as always, you can ask your questions in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the last session of the month and be careful. Volatility is likely to remain high until the end of the day. Take care and we'll speak again next Monday.